the world population was 2.5 billion in 1950 and will be four times more in 2050. Securing sufficient access to water, energy and food for what will soon be 10 billion people living together on the earth is the main challenge of humankind. Demand and competition for our vital resources are growing dramatically. Major problems must be overcome. First of all, these resources are very unevenly distributed. In addition, policies and investments in one sector generally have impacts in other sectors. And in large river basins, major water-related investments may have harmful effects in other countries. In many parts of the world, water, energy and food crises fuel political and social instability, impede economic growth and generate geopolitical tensions. In such a context, how can governments achieve water security, energy security and food security in a peaceful and sustainable way? Business as usual has no future. New ways of thinking are needed. This is possible today thanks to a new approach which is gaining increased attention of political leaders around the world the water, energy and food security nexus approach. But what does this mean concretely? Nexus simply means interdependence. It highlights the interlinkages between water security, energy security and food security. It emphasizes the need for more cooperation between these sectors. For policy making, investment planning and operational management at the local, national and regional levels. Although the concept is rather easy to understand, it requires strong political will at the highest level. The will to strengthen cross-sectoral as well as transboundary cooperation. How can this approach be applied in Central Asia? The region comprises Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. Main water bodies are the Caspian Sea, the Aral Sea, the Lake Balkash and the Lake Ishikul. After crossing several national borders, the Amudaria and the Sirdaria rivers feed the Aral Sea and form the Aral Sea Basin, shared by the five countries. The region has very diverse ecosystems, ranging from high mountains to vast deserts and steppes. Central Asian population has grown from less than 20 million in 1950 to 70 million today and is expected to exceed 90 million by 2050. Due to this rapid population growth, water is becoming increasingly scarce, while demand for food and energy is rising rapidly. Land degradation is happening at an alarming pace, while the risks of floods and other disasters is increasing, exacerbated by climate change. To face these daunting challenges, huge investments are needed. Unfortunately, the resources of the region are very unequally distributed. And because countries share transboundary rivers, they are strongly interdependent in terms of water and energy. Hydropower is mainly generated in Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, while hydrocarbon resources are concentrated in the three other countries. More cooperation between the countries is obviously needed and could significantly increase GDP while the cost of inaction could add up to several billion dollars per year. Initiatives in this direction have emerged and could be strengthened. In 1992, the five heads of state established the International Fund for Saving the Aral Sea, IFAS. One of its main activities is to develop the Aral Sea Basin Program, ASBP. In January this year, the IFAS board decided to launch its fourth edition, ASBP4. A concrete way of applying the water energy food security nexus approach in Central Asia is to shape the ASBP into a major regional multi-sector investment program. An ambitious joint program able to unite all countries around a common goal, achieving water, energy and food security for all. Investment is considered here in the broad sense not only infrastructure, but also human and institutional resources, environment management, etc. Systematic analysis of optimal trade-offs between sectors and between countries allows the identification of a well-balanced portfolio of national and regional investment projects for the benefit of all. Benefits are 
peace and stability, reduced investment risks, higher investment return, better trading environment, more efficient use of the scarce resources, leading to poverty alleviation, higher productivity, faster economic growth, and last but not least, well-protected ecosystems. Since 2015, the European Union is financing, together with Germany, a global Nexus Dialogues program with activities in Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. In Central Asia, a European Union-funded project is implemented since December 2016 by the Regional Environmental Centre for Central Asia, CARIC, in partnership with the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN. The first phase of this project, focusing on dialogue, awareness raising and capacity building, will end in December 2019. One of the key activities is to support IFAS and its member countries in building a portfolio of cooperative investment projects for possible support in a second phase. Today, the water, energy and food security nexus approach is beginning to materialize in various parts of the world. In Central Asia, there is a growing recognition that national approaches are insufficient to address the complex water, energy, food and environmental challenges of the region. With strong political will at presidential level, we may be confident that through this approach, the Central Asian countries will be able to achieve rapid, efficient, peaceful and sustainable socio-economic development of this major region on the Eurasian continent.